Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be talking about the demi demise, decline. What's going on with uh, tennis pro shops? Why are they disappearing? Why are they not coming back? Uh, why is it so hard to actually buy a racket sometimes? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so today I'm going to get some coffee. Oh, hang on a second, man. Oh, there it is, right there, man. You know, every day, every day before I talk to you guys, I really, uh, I think that's a 12-ounce cup. But anyways, uh, thank you for buying me coffees. Uh, if you want to contribute, uh, buy me a coffee backslash tennis spin. Link's on the bottom. Okay, so today... Uh, the tennis shop. A lot of you actually have messaged me and says, uh, we don't have a tennis shop close to us or we don't have a tennis shop, period, in our town, in our neighborhood, in our city, uh, in our country. Uh, so I was actually a little shocked by that. When I was a kid, I could get a tennis racket pretty much everywhere I went. I bought my first racket from Walgreens. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a Walgreens is, it's a pharmacy drugstore. And so I was thinking to myself, wow, it's crazy how I really have to search for a place to get a tennis racket now. I gotta go to a Dick Sports, uh, possibly a Target. Um, I haven't checked Walmart, but um, they, they may have it. I think they have tennis balls at least, but I don't know if they have rackets. But where can you really get a tennis racket now, right? Besides a specialty store that are disappearing. Um, so I just looked up a couple facts. Um, in 1992 is when Tennis Warehouse started. Uh, they were obviously not as big as they are now. Uh, it looked like a 500 square foot uh, space and then obviously grew from there. Uh, in 92, I was working uh, at a place called Lombardi Sports in San Francisco uh, in their tennis department. And it was pretty big. It was bigger than this store, the tennis department was. So um, it was a huge sport. We serviced a lot of people, strung a lot of rackets, sold a lot of rackets. As soon as tennis racket, tennis warehouse got big, right? Like our bosses, my manager kind of started panicking because back then, you know, the prices weren't as, um, consistent as they are today. So we basically made our prices the same as theirs. Um, all the shops in San Francisco where I lived. Uh, also did the same thing. So it basically leveled the playing ground uh, for the customer, for you guys. Um, and basically kind of made us think that we had to compete with them. Um, there had always been a place uh, that you could buy rackets, uh, another mail order place uh, called Hollabirds. And they were like a catalog thing. You would look up the prices on the catalog, call them, call them and order your racket um, and strings with your credit card. So it wasn't the day of easy clicking and, you know, knocking out a racket order within a couple minutes. I mean, back then, if you were competing against that, you would probably just walk into a store and um, talk to somebody and get the racket. So that's how the, you know, the playing field was leveled. But uh, what Tennis Warehouse did as it technology got better was they streamlined the thing. So that actually knocked a lot of people out of business, right? Because they couldn't compete with that anymore, nor did they really want to. So that basically put out uh, half the people um, in the city of San Francisco already. So the people that basically were carrying tennis basically stopped carrying tennis. Um, the people who were at, of age and were gonna retire, 
uh, was hard to sell the business. Uh, couldn't find any buyers. So they basically just retired and moved on to retirement. Um, I still see that today. I mean, in the past 10 years since we've been around, um, I would say three other places out here where I am, I'm in, in Marin County, um, basically kind of just folded up. So, I mean, I get it. It's, it's not an easy business. Um, stringers are kind of hard to come by. You know, it's, it's hard to teach somebody to do it for a year or two and then kind of lose them. Nobody wants to stand in front of a, a, you know, a stringing machine for eight hours a day and trying to knock out 20 rackets. It's, it, it takes a special person to have that kind of dedication. So it ain't, I mean, you see me talking and you think it's fun and it is fun if you love it, but you got to love it. That's the thing. You have to have a special interest in the game of tennis and know and want to know the uh, ins and out of how to string like a perfect racket. You know, there's a lot of parts that you kind of have to know. So, but it's, it's not as easy as it used to be. There were more people, there were more kids that wanted to do it back then. The labor market isn't like it used to be. It's just, it's tough now. So um, that's why I feel like I'm the last of the Mohicans out here. Uh, and that's why you guys uh, want to come to me because uh, I get it. You know, it, it's it, I like I tell people all the time back when I was learning, I was there was a lot of people that knew way, way more than me. And I learned from those guys uh, now, like 20, 30 years later, you know, I there's not much to look up to. Uh, everybody's I'm looking down all the time now there's there's not a lot I can learn anymore there's not a lot of people that are still in the business that um you know that know a lot uh they're all retired they're all done with it so um that's where you know we're at it's kind of it's a grueling day it's a grueling day for everybody so it's fun if you love it but hey it's a tough business too all right. So that's basically, in my view, what happened to, you know, basically the pro shops that you used to see in uh, in your neighborhood or your town or your country. Um, it's it's a tough business, guys. It's there's no way around it. All right. I appreciate I appreciate you guys watching and I appreciate you guys, um, you know, learning stuff from me. And hopefully I'm entertaining to you. Um, and I thank you for watching tennis spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.